Hi guys, so today is my little brother's uh, girlfriend's graduation from high school. So I am on the way there. Of course, I am late. I know I shouldn't be vlogging and driving, but I just wanted to tell you that's what's happening. And I'm gonna try and vlog a little bit of it. Our senator, our state senator, Shelly Moore Capito, is speaking at my high school, my old high school. And I'm actually really excited for it. Um, I got to meet her years ago. Um, which I will tell you guys that story later, but right now I have to focus on getting to graduation on time because of course I am late. Thank you. 
Well, it was fast. Our last call and homecoming are all in the past. This for the past seniors here at Mount Wyatt? Hmm. It might be all right. But wait, I'm going to college, and it sounds kind of bad. But after the past three years, may actually go out. I don't know. I can't say it's not true, but I'm really excited for WVU. So whoever made the decision 
Uh, and uh, Principal Laurie Hill, I'm going to give you that uh, credit. I don't know if you deserve it or not, but good job, <laughs> uh, Principal. And it's really great to be here with uh, President of the School Board, Katie Wilkins, and with Superintendent, Superintendent Hedrick, who just came to see me in Washington, D.C. My friends, John and Michelle Connor, I've known for years here in Pendleton County. Thank you, John, for welcoming me here. You're probably wondering, how did she get here today, and why? Well, when I was first running for Congress in 2000, I ran into a family who had a little girl who was two years old, and that was uh, Kelly and Polly McCartney. And Kelly said to me that day, boy, I sure would love it if you could speak at my daughter Haley's graduation. So here I am, Haley, at your graduation. So thank you.
sound of their voice, what they really mean. So let's try to work on more social interaction face to face. Because the people that care about you most want to hear the lovely sound, the precious sound of your voice. It means so much to them. They will care about you, they want the best for you. They've done so much for you. So a way to pay them back, make sure you call them and talk with them and tell them how much you love them. Second, I don't need to tell you this because I've already heard from the two great speeches that were just given. Cherish your relationships. You all know each other very well. You've worked hard. You need to work hard to maintain it because you're all going in a different direction. You know, West Virginia, I always say, and I think Pendleton County is a, is a good example of it. We're just one big, small town. We care for each other. We're interested in each other's, in what happens with each other's families and what goes on. You're always running into, and I'm sure that happens here, you're always running into somebody that you know, no matter where and when, where you are. You're always running into a West Virginia. Now, at your age, that probably sounds boring. You're probably like, I'm tired of running into all these people that I know. I'm tired of seeing everybody who knows something about me. But you know what? 46 years from now, you're going to want that closeness. You're going to want that relationship. You're going to want that feeling of, here's somebody here who knows me, who cares about me, who knows about me. So work hard to keep those great relationships that we have in West Virginia that you all developed over the years. It's going to be important to you now and important to you in the future. You know, we think about West Virginians, what are we really good at? We're really good at helping each other. We just had some floods last year, and West Virginians poured into the flooded areas to help each other. When you had your floods here in Pendleton County in the, in the 1980s, I believe, Many people came to come and help you as your fellow West Virginians. So remember, we have an exceptional community, an exceptional state, and your support system is right here, ready to help you when you need it. So the third thing I wanted to say is show your gratitude. And your principal's already said this. So I'm reinforcing her, because she's obviously a very smart person. Life moves quickly, and it's making it especially important that you appreciate every moment. One way you can do that is in what's becoming now an antiquated uh, habit, send a handwritten note. Send a note to somebody you care about, thanking them for something they did for you. Maybe one of your favorite teachers. Maybe one of your favorite members of your church or your family. Be kind and give back. Because it's those small gestures that really mean a lot. Fourth, as you go through your journey, embrace the ups and downs. Life is not a straight line. Every adult in this room can tell you, and I can say it too, everybody's had a zig or a zag in their life and has ended up maybe not exactly where they thought they were. Each of you will define happiness differently, but my message to you is don't define your happiness as your goal. The path I took was not a straight line. I was actually raised in a political family. Many of you, I've talked to some folks here, knew my dad was governor and also a member of Congress. And so I was really accustomed to the rough and tumble uh, world of politics. I've seen it, I've seen it firsthand. When I, when I was 18, or actually I was 17, when I graduated, when I was 17 years old, 46 years ago, so I just told you all how old I am. When I was um, in, in your shoes, I never once ever thought I would be the first United States woman senator from the state of West Virginia. I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to go to medical school. Until I worked at a hospital. And then I realized this is hard work. And the sight of blood and people in pain is not something I enjoy. So I had a zig and zag. And I ended up switching paths. But the one thing I couldn't zig and zag on was my college major. And you heard what it was, it was zoology. You probably thought, well, that's odd. Now you know why I was majoring in zoology. It's a pre-med major. But zoology has served me well because zoology has, has prepared me to serve in the biggest zoo in America, and that's Washington, <laughs>
museum in a beautiful part of our state, a beautiful part of our country. And we have to remember, we stand on the shoulders of those fallen heroes. That our country was founded on the principles of liberty and freedom. We can worship how we want. We can gather how we want. We can wear what we want. We can rap like we want. We can do all these things. In a lot of countries, those freedoms don't exist. Especially for women, they don't exist. And so this Memorial Day, remember, we live in the greatest country on earth. We have freedoms and power and the ability to, to move our lives in any direction we want that a lot of people don't have. So remember, love your country. Love your country. It's the greatest country on earth.
place in your arms. With you, we shall not fear what may happen tomorrow, because we are, because you are the understanding Father who cares for us today, tomorrow, and every day. We have faith, O oh Lord, that you will shield us from suffering, or give us unfailing strength to bear. Give us peace, give us the grace to put aside all anxious thoughts and images. We pray these things in Jesus Christ's name. guys so I am done with graduation it only lasted about an hour and 15 minutes and I recorded a good good portion of it I recorded all of Shelly's speech because I really really like her like I said I got to meet her at one point she does a lot of work for um, the state of West Virginia and for this county in general so um, it was really amazing she did a really good speech I liked it recorded most of it so you guys will see and also, I did record most of it on my big camera, so it will be better quality. I did that because the zoom on my camera is better than the zoom on this camera, so that's what I did. Took some pictures afterwards, all that kind of stuff. Also, they did the uh, presentation of diplomas really, really fast, so I'm not sure if I got um, my brother's girlfriend. Um, her name is Caitlin, and um, I think I got her... Um, like receiving it but I don't think I got her name when they called it so um there's that we'll have to review the footage when I get home but I'm really really hot there's no AC in the gym at my old high school um luckily it's in the morning um it's about 11 o'clock right now and so it's cooled off and it's cloudy and um yeah so I am heading home and I will talk to you guys more then you can already tell i am home and i already changed back into comfy clothes it's only 12 30 noon um so i was looking at this paper because you know they give you they give you one of these um like programs and i was looking at it and i graduated four years ago yesterday actually if you want the exact date i graduated on may 26th 2013 i had to think for a minute from this same high school 
and I was looking at the staff and like the faculty on here and they have gotten already in four years they have gotten already so many new staff members that I don't know and two of the people on the staff um, actually went to this high school with me they like have already graduated and are now teachers at this school and it just amazes me so I want to show you guys and I'm gonna like go through I put little marks next to the teachers or the faculty members that I know or that were there when I was there and um, the rest of them are weren't there when I was there and it was only four years ago and it blows my mind so I wanted to include it in this vlog. Kathy Bennett was my geometry teacher. Sheila Evick was my seventh and eighth grade um, social studies teacher. She now teaches high school classes too. Bev I was a math teacher. Mr. Godfrey is my favorite teacher of all time probably and so is Richard Harper. Um, Mr. Godfrey taught my senior, senior English class, and Mr. Harper taught anatomy. Mr. Hudson is the ag teacher. Karen Props was my business teacher slash like typing teacher. Oh, I also know Mr. Rice. He was my civics and 2020 first history teacher. And then Allison and Joe Vinsel. Allison is the Spanish teacher and Joe is the English teacher and their husband and wife, so that's kind of funny. And then all the rest of these people, I don't really, really know. So those are the only few that I know out of this. But anyways, guys, I am going to end this vlog here, I think, because it's probably already going to be pretty long. Because like I said earlier, I vlogged all of Senator Capito's speech because it's not very often that um, you get to hear your state senator um, speak at a graduation at your old high school so I wanted to make sure I cherished that moment and our state senator is amazing um, I just want to include this in here I did get to meet her years and years ago in 2009 and take a picture with her she was the house representative for West Virginia at the time and Senator Byrd was the senator then and I got to sit at Senator Byrd's office in his office and at his desk and I have these pictures somewhere and I have no clue where they disappeared to but I do have pictures of me and Shelly at one point and I do have pictures of me sitting at Senator Byrd's office but Senator Capito um, does do a whole lot of work around here. I got to go to Washington DC in 2009 and meet her to talk about Habitat for Humanity which is how I am able to have a house that I live in right now. It was built by Habitat and um, all that kind of stuff. So we got to go with Habitat to DC and talk to her about why she c should continue funding it and about how much it changed my life. And I still am so grateful that she puts funding into that because it's such an amazing program and creates homes for a lot of people who wouldn't otherwise have it. So if by chance Senator Capito ever watches this, which I don't know if she will, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for not only funding Habitat for Humanity, but all the great amazing work that you do around the state and around Pendleton County in general. She does visit my county quite often um, and she has a lot of friends in this county. Um, John and Michelle Connor who um, are in charge of Habitat for Humanity for this county um, are really really good friends with her as they've you know went back and forth with meetings with her especially now that she's a senator and talk about funding and that kind of stuff so it's just amazing and she is such a loved person in this community and also I did not know that she's the only female senator in this state and she definitely deserves it if any female um, deserves it it is definitely her and she's just amazing and did an amazing speech so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this I'm going to like I said end it because it's probably going to be long and I have some other vlogs to edit too so I'm going to do that but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Happy Memorial Day weekend to all of you guys. And also, congratulations to the PCHS class of 2017. And hold on tight because the next couple years of your life are going to be crazy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Congratulations again to the class of 2017. And I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye guys.